This year marks the 25th anniversary of diplomatic ties between Korea and Turkmenistan, a Central Asian country rich in natural resources. The two countries have developed closer cultural and economic ties in recent years, with a growing number of Korean companies doing business in the country. Our Kim Hae-sung is in Turkmenistan with more. Korea and Turkmen engineers working side by side. Welding, tubing, piping, cracking natural gas into polyethylene and polypropylene, which can be used to make value-added goods like plastic. As holder of the world's fourth largest natural gas reserves, Turkmenistan is looking to diversify its oil and gas industry, investing tens of billions of dollars here in Kianli on the Caspian coast to build a gas plant industrial complex. With a population of just 5 million and 90 percent of its land covered by desert, more than half of Turkmenistan's GDP comes from hydrocarbon gas like natural gas. A former Soviet republic that gained independence in 1991, Turkmenistan is trying to reduce its reliance on Russia, opening a new pipeline to China in 2009 and industrializing through infrastructure building and gas plant projects like this one between Korea, Turkmenistan and Japan that started in Kiali in 2015. From design, engineering, construction to commissioning, we planned each stage in advance to make sure this mega project runs smoothly and safely. Once complete, the plant will produce around 50 tons of gas a year, contributing at least 700 to 800 million U.S. dollars to Turkmenistan's economy. Three kilometers in width and length. At the gas plant site, over 12,000 workers from Hyundai Engineering and Turkmenistan's state-run Turkmen Gas work from Monday to Saturday. The extremely hot summer weather and occasional sandstorms make working conditions difficult and unpredictable. But seeing each other almost every day, the two countries' people have developed a solid working relationship. Working for the last two and a half years with the Hyundai people who have technological expertise and a great work ethic has been a wonderful experience. The $3 billion gas plant project is scheduled to be completed by next year, and Hyundai Engineering has already started the handover process with training programs for local engineers underway. But it's not an end, rather a new beginning that will likely open up new opportunities for the two countries as Turkmenistan aims to diversify its oil and gas industries and Korea seeks to find a new growth engine abroad. Kim Hae-sung, Arirang News, Kianli. Turkmenistan.